Shares have plunged for a Canadian company that just weeks ago was more valuable than RBC. The U.S. Congress says Valiant Pharmaceuticals has some explaining to do. Congress claims Valiant bought out a smaller drug maker, then on the same day jacked up the prices of two heart medications in the U.S., one of them by more than 500 percent. The CBC's Kelly Crow reports. To save your life was only $1,000. The companies before us were actually just giving it away almost. That was Martin Shkreli last week, trying to defend his 5,000 percent increase in the price of an essential drug. This week, it's Valiant Pharmaceuticals, a Quebec-based company under fire for hiking the price of two rare heart drugs. Valiant is using precisely the same business model as Martin Shkreli, wrote a group of U.S. Democrats, trying to force Valiant officials to turn over documents and testify before a congressional committee. It's part of a war on drug prices launched by U.S. presidential candidate Bernie Sanders. That enough is enough. The greed of the pharmaceutical industry is killing Americans and making many of them much sicker than they otherwise would have been. It has got to stop. Sanders has been pushing the issue for months. I mean, it's disgraceful. But it took comments from Hillary Clinton to make it a front page political story in the U.S. We're going to start holding the drug companies accountable to drive down the prices. At issue today are two rarely used heart drugs, Nitropress and Isuprel. The rights to the drugs have changed hands twice in three years, and each time the U.S. price went up by hundreds of dollars. Valiant has built an empire by buying the rights to existing drugs and increasing the price, ask liver specialist Eve Roberts. I am still feeling quite traumatized by what happened to my patients. In 2013, Valiant jacked up the Canadian price of a life-saving liver drug by about $148,000 a year, almost overnight. So to see these prices rise capriciously and suddenly is just intolerable for these patients. In the end, Valiant backed down and reversed that price hike. The company has not commented on the new controversy. I think we're at a point now where governments are seriously considering what they can do to keep prices in check. UBC professor Steve Morgan is writing a commentary about what he believes is a tipping point, as more and more drug companies set prices at what they think the market will bear. Now it's not at all uncommon to see manufacturers charging hundreds of thousands of dollars per patient per year. It's not clear what policy mechanism governments could use to control prices, but what seems to work so far is public shaming, which has triggered two very public price reversals in the last week alone. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto. If you're hearing the name Valiant for the first time, perhaps BioVail Corporation rings a bell. It was founded by Eugene Melnick, now owner of the Ottawa Senators. After an accounting scandal, BioVail reinvented itself with California's Valiant Pharmaceutical. Led by CEO Michael Pearson, Valiant has been buying smaller companies, then hiking drug prices, which is how its value spiked so high before it dropped. Amanda Lang has been watching it all happen. With Valiant at such high levels, it actually kept the Toronto market strong, despite the fact that a lot of commodity stocks had been falling. Well, what happened now, of course, is the reverse of that. The declines in Toronto over the last week are 40% attributed to this single stock. It is still very valuable, but you can see the massive effect that a company that gets to this size can have on just about every Canadian's portfolio. Valiant employs 18,000 people worldwide. Its headquarters are in Laval, Quebec. Last year, it declared revenue of more than $8 billion.